Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Today under the heading, under the subject Literature and Disability, we will cover Trying to Grow a Novel by Firdos Kanga. I was getting too many uh, requests to go for this one. It was not planned although, but I decided to go for it and here is the video. Let us proceed to our video now. It is too lengthy, but I tried my best to cover in short. It is a 1991 novel by Firdaus Kanga and semi-autobiographical. That means ki unki life hai, like in fictionalized way mein hai in the urban India. It is about a young boy growing up with brittle bones. Brittle bones kya hota hai? Ye hum samjhenge abhi. Uh, technical terms mein bhi samjhenge. Lightly we can say that it is a lifelong genetic disorder that causes your bones, your teeth to break very easily without any type of injury. Aapki bones, aapke teeth bohat weak ho jate hai is disease mein. Firdaus Kanga ko jante hai thoda, he belongs to a Parsi family and is 4 feet tall. Is disease mein height bhi short reh jati hai, writer to ho hai nahi, journalist or actor bhi hai. Actor wo apni hi likhi hui ek movie mein hai, jiska naam hai Sixth Happiness. And he is also the author of Heaven on Wheels. Heaven on Wheels, if you have ever heard of it, it was an excerpt. It is about Stephen Hawkins and the excerpt has been taken in Class 8 NCRT book. Trying to Crow by Firdaus Kanga is the story of a young Parsi boy named Darius Kotwal, whose nickname is Brit Kotwal, Brit being short for brittle, which was his disease tha, named so because he was born with Osteogenesis imperfecta, which brittle bones disease kaha jata hai, normal common language mein. A condition that left him with bones and teeth as fragile as glass. Aram se toot sakte the. Brit grows up in the heart of the Bombay as a part of music loving Parsi family. <coughs> that learns early on to stop attempting to fix the young boy's condition. धीरे धीरे उनको समझ आ गया था कि इसकी कंडीशन को फिक्स नहीं किया जा सकता है एंड टू फोकस इंस्टेड ऑन लेटिंग हिम लिव द बेस्ट लाइफ ही कैन नेविगेटिंग हिज वे थ्रू लिटरेचर म्यूजिक लव एंड सेक्स तो इंस्टेड ऑफ क्योरिंग द बॉय बिकॉज़ देयर इज नो क्योर अवेलेबल इंस्टेड ऑफ ट्राइंग टू क्योर द बॉय द फैमिली जस्ट लेट हिम लिव एज एज मच एज ही कुड लिव नॉर्मली इन अ नेचुरल एनवायरनमेंट एंड ही बिकेम फॉन्ड ऑफ literature music love and sex so he is considered to be the first indian author to write a novel revolving around a bisexual protagonist it features a young man born in bombay with brittle bones who would never grow taller than four feet his mother an anglophile anglophile means charmed with everything that is english specifically britain so her mother names the little boy brit uh, after her brittle bone disease and because she was also fond of Britain and British culture very much. So, uh, she names the boy nicknamed as Brit. During the growth years, Brit turns out to be a very sharp, very spooky kind of person. Jiski apni opinion hai, naughty bhi hai. He knows that his small size allows people to assume him innocent. लोग उसको अपने सीक्रेट बड़ी आराम से बता देते हैं उसको एक छोटा सा इनोसेंट बच्चा समझकर ही इस स्कूल डैट होम सो ही नोज मोर अबाउट चार्ल्स वन देन द बॉयज नेक्स्ट टूर दैट मींस कि ही नोज अ लॉट अबाउट ब्रिटिश कल्चर और रिलेशनशिप विद द विमेन आल्सो फॉलोस वी विल टॉक अबाउट दैट टू ऑल थ्रू इज द टेंडरनेस एंड हार्ट ब्रेक ऑफ अ यंग मैन एक्सपीरियंसिंग लव एंड डिजायर Having his heart reinforced and mended, which is far more intense than the pain of broken bones. Ek relationship ne bhi padhte hain wo and that relationship breaks out as well and that pain is also there, which is more intense than the pain of his broken bones. Let us note down few points about this novel. The characters are semi-autobiographical and set in Parsi community. This is a buildings Roman novel. Buildings Roman kya hota hai? Ye aap maabhi video mein aage dekhenge. The narrative dramatizes the maturation of Brit, the protagonist, and his development of an awareness of his place in the world. Dheere dheere, slowly and steadily, aapmara jo protagonist hai, wo ye jaan jata hai ki being disabled, unki position kya hai is dunia mein. He deals with the theme of initiation, gradually unraveling the contradictory, hypocritical, and semi-side of 
लाइफ इस दुनिया में लोग और ये पूरी दुनिया किस तरीके से हिपोक्रिटिकल है ये वो जान जाते हैं ब्रिट इज एन इमेजिनेटिव इनवेलिड पर्सन दैट मीन डिसेबल पर्सन who passionately tries to go tries to enjoy the life as much as possible the narrative follows the pattern of exposure shock of discovery and gradual adjustment and mature acceptance actually yahi sab cheeze milakar build and soman kahi jaati hain jisme from the level of childhood to adulthood a person learns to grow ek thodi si maturity aa jati hai us person ke andar and that kind of novels are called build and soman novel autobiographical hai conception on um, conception and essence of the narrative is derived from the central autobiographical fact this person is at the center of the novel brit struggle is for self actualization apni identity ke liye unki struggle hai and <coughs> he wants to handle his physical condition in a meaningful way अपनी फिजिकल कंडीशन अपनी एग्जिस्टेंस को जितना पॉसिबल है वो मीनिंगफुल बनाना चाहते हैं तो ट्राइंग टू ग्रो अनफोल्ड सीरीज ऑफ एपिसोड्स, बहुत सारे एपिसोड्स, बहुत सारी इवेंट्स उनकी लाइफ की दिखाई देती हैं हमें लेकिन चैप्टर्स को ठीक से कोई हेडिंग नहीं दी गई है uh, और दैट इज अ रीजन दैट वी डू नॉट कम टू नो द टाइम पीरियड इन विच द डिफरेंट चैप्टर्स आर सेट इन इट इज ओनली थ्रू क्लोज रीडिंग डीप रीडिंग दैट वन डिस्कवर्स द रीडर्स डिस्कवर हाउ ओल्ड ही इज एट एनी गिवन पॉइंट एंड द मेजर थीम इज लैक ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ कोर्स लैक ऑफ डेवलपमेंट इज देर बिकॉज ऑफ वन सो कॉल्ड डिसेबिलिटी हमारे जो प्रोटेगनिस्ट हैं वो एक चेयर में फ्रोजन रहते हैं ब्रिट इन एज व्हील चेयर मोशनलेस वाइल ऑल अराउंड हिम हिज फैमिली फ्रेंड्स ग्रो अप मारी मूव इज वेयर गेट एक्साइटिंग जॉब्स ट्रेवल द वर्ल्ड ग्रो ओल्ड एंड डाई लेकिन हमारे प्रोटेगनिस मोशनलेस रहते हैं इट इज यू नो इट इज काइंड ऑफ लाइक वॉचिंग क्राउड सीन इन फास्ट फॉरवर्ड वन इज सिटिंग एट अ प्लेस बट एवरी बडी अराउंड इज मूविंग बिजिली एंड वन स्टेशनरी एलिमेंट इज देयर इन द मिडल ऑफ द फ्रेम नॉर्मल लोगों की लाइफ में कुछ बेंचमार्क्स होते हैं ना कि एट दिस एज दे आर सपोज टू गो टू स्कूल एट दैट एज दे आर सपोज टू गो टू कॉलेज एंड यूनिवर्सिटी एंड देन अ जॉब एंड देन किड्स मैरिज ओल्ड एज लेकिन इस तरीके का कोई बेंचमार्क हमारे प्रोटेगनिस्ट की लाइफ में नहीं है अकॉर्डिंगली द प्रोसेस ऑफ ग्रोइंग इज मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर बेट एंड दी बेंच मार्क्स मच लेस डिफाइन देन फॉर नॉर्मल पीपल whose body is undergo obvious changes with time and whose life proceed in orderly stages from school to college to office and so on um, in the book's opening page someone mistakes brit even for a child of 4 when he is really 8 jab wo 8 saal ke hone 4 saal ka bachcha samjha jata hai and this sort of things this sort of events continues throughout his life even though he is in many senses more developed mentally बिकॉज वी नो कि एक सेंस अगर नहीं होती एक क्वालिटी एक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक अगर नहीं होता तो कोई और कैरेक्टरिस्टिक कोई और सेंस ज्यादा डेवलप हो जाती है तो उनका माइंड बहुत अच्छे से डेवलप था लेकिन उनकी बॉडी उस हिसाब से डेवलप नहीं थी एंड दिस इज वॉट विच कॉम्प्लिकेट्स इज लाइफ राइट इन द मिडिल ऑफ द नॉवल वी आर टोल्ड दैट इट रियलाइज दैट इज फादर सैम believes in illogical cures and tries every possible way to get his son on his feet he leaves no stone unturned to cure the kid but we know that this disease is not curable and he also got to know it but we get to know with this event we get to know the close uh, bond between the father and son that uh, the father is trying every possible remedy that can cure his son that makes sense as the love of the father but it is quite illogical but because uh, everybody knows that this uh, disease is not curable we sense a change in brit's perception about the whole world like everybody loves him in a different manner about different people there are different kind of perceptions including his parents his friends rest of the family as he grows up he makes different perception about different people we do not see any kind of bias when he is giving us an account of his life experience lekin hame emotional side bhi nazar nahi aati hai brit ki but he surely uh, make sure to get his readers on board and experience what he is going through jo kuch bhi wo experience kare wo zarur hame janne ko milta hai is itne acche se wo depict karte hain apni life ko 
ब्रिट्स डिपिक्शन ऑफ इज वलिटी कितने वलरेबल हैं कितने इजीली अटैकेबल हैं उनकी लाइफ एंड हिस्स फीलिंग सीम्स टू बी क्वाइट रियलिस्टिक एंड नॉन रोमांटिक बहुत बढ़ा चढ़ा कर अपनी फीलिंग्स को अपने एक्सपीरियंस को प्रेजेंट नहीं करते एक इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फेस कर सकते हैं आप रिलेटेड टू साइरस और एमी इन कैरेक्टर्स के बारे में हमने बात नहीं की है वी विल गेट टू नो दीज कैरेक्टर्स थ्रू दिस आंसर हु डू यू थिंक इज अ बेटर पार्टनर टू ब्रिट साइरस और एमी गिव रीजन फॉर योर आंसर Let us know Cyrus for Cyrus is introduced as neighbor Defarge's cousin son. Ye neighbor uh, Defarge ke cousin ka beta hai Cyrus. He meets Brit that very day on his arrival on uh, in Bombay. <coughs> Now called Mumbai. They become friends in the uh, very first meeting and in few meetings they get acquainted closely with each other. Brit is quite drawn towards him because he is someone Cyrus is someone who sees beyond his disability. Cyrus sees Brit as a human, not as a disabled person. And it is Cyrus who helps Brit get out of the shell, get out of the boundaries, you know, created by his family, and have some kind of fun. And he is the one who tells him how to enjoy life in spite of being disabled. He is disappointed, sad when Brit and Emmy gets close, but still does not feel angry. And towards the end of the novel. Cyrus decides to take up a job in a law firm in Delhi which saddens Brit of course because he created a great amount of bond with Cyrus Let us know Amy now the advent the uh, presence of Amy attests to be one of the major event in the novel major event in novel ka um, for the novel as well as for Brit Amy is shown as a quite modern self dependent bold confident woman who does not believe in conventional methods of life in old belief that a disabled is a disabled she is introduced as cyrus girlfriend initially and works at a library and she is the one she is a person with whom brit can share all the knowledge of the books authors poets and can talk about uh, any topic she also likes brit's company as uh, they have much in common to talk about Cyrus also notices the same kind of bond and that is why when he gets to know about her feelings for Brit he does not seem surprised or astonished in any way just like Cyrus Amy is also not bound by any kind of conventional attitude or beliefs towards disability she leaves no chance to appreciate Brit for his wittiness and awareness hamesha brit ko aware uh, uh, appreciate karti hai unki knowledge ke liye unki cleverness ke liye emi quite supports frequently through her actions as well as words that she is paying attention to brit for the person he is and not with him out of pity or any kind of compassion so the novel thode se positive note par end hota hai brit receives a uh, uh, Brit receives a handsome amount for advance for his novel and Brit observes that he does not feel alone when he writes and he uh, continuously thinks about the good time that he did spend with Amy and Cyrus I think both Amy and Cyrus could prove to be a very good partner to uh, Brit and we cannot choose any of them Brit was a bisexual we all know that and it is completely the perception of a single reader whom they consider to be the best partner for brit cyrus or emmy so you should write the answer as per your perception i gave you the characteristics of both in the end you can write that trying to grow could also be read as a building stoman building stoman i told you already building stoman is something um, a kind of novel where the character grows character mature hota hai apni thoughts mein which charts the growth of its principal character brit who undergoes several changes in his life and he is introduced to us as an 8 year old child who grows into a young adult with all experiences on his way to 8 year se lekar uski unki life ke 20s tak ki hame story batayi gayi kis tarike se wo mature hote hain apne view points mein that has been told to us through this novel trying to grow new sessions are going at present the sessions for current exams are already over and it is too late to join now you may join the classes for the next batch for any of your next literature subjects till then keep watching keep sharing and 
please do not forget to subscribe the channel and please do write your valuable feedback in comments.